Hey guys, um, I'm going to show you how to get everything you had um, back if you accidentally deleted it or something. Or if you're switching, it's just um, super simple and you notice I'm using my iPod for this video because if you do do this with a jailbroken device, it loses your jailbreak. So, um... Yeah, so don't do it if you have a jailbreaking device, or if you really need to, you can just re-jailbreak it, but just to know. So the first thing you need to do is, um, it's handy to have it always, um, iCloud is going to come into hand, come in handy here. So, you're going to want it to back up a lot, but, um, iCloud backup is really important for this video, so we're just going to keep that into consideration. You're going to need to have backup, iCloud backup, already installed. So, just to know. Now, if you do have iCloud backup already installed, which most people do, here's how you do it. Say I have an app that I don't want it to be gone. I accidentally deleted it or something. Let's delete the bookworm one. It's gone. Okay. So, um, this isn't the best example since I can reinstall it for the App Store, but say it was a voice recording or an email I think it emails work but mostly voice recordings those can't get back if you delete them or pictures so here's what you're gonna do to get it back you're gonna go on here you're gonna go to settings iCloud you're gonna go to settings iCloud and then you're gonna storage and backup and what you're gonna not do is do not post the backup now because that will make you lose it last backup was yesterday I think so so here's what you're gonna do you're gonna leave turn the iPod off and you're gonna hold the power button um and this button at the um the same time so you're gonna do this and then you're gonna keep on holding it and it's gonna say slide the power off just completely ignore that and if you keep on holding it it should um, do that. So next is what we're gonna do is plug it into iTunes. Okay, you have to have a computer for this one. Sorry, I didn't mention that. So then, once it's in iTunes, you're just going to, on, it's going to be on your computer, and what you're going to do is, you're going to go on your iPhones, and, I mean, I, I go on iTunes, and you're going to click on the iPad Touch, iPod Touch setting over here. Look for it to load. Here we go. And um so after that what we're gonna do is hold on I haven't actually done this with my iPod so here we go. Um we're gonna click the restore button and you might be kind of hesitant on this because it'll turn it into factory settings, but you're going to do it because it's going to work. It should be just under here. You're going to click restore. So, um, and you're just going to click it into restore. It's going to say, are you sure? Because usually that sounds kind of stupid because you lose everything, but it's not. I'm surprised nobody would actually done this video before but I talked to a guy on Apple about it and he told me what to do this I just figured I'd share it so it's gonna go into if we go back over here um, pretty soon it's going to lose everything so I'll put the camera back on when it's all done okay so now you're gonna get 
Um, it's downloaded and it gave you the little Apple sign with the loading tool underneath it, bar underneath it, I mean. Um, yeah, that. So, you're just gonna wait for that to load up. Should be pretty quick. If it's not, just persist. You're gonna get that, uh, electricity thing, that means it's working well. Remember, you have to be connected to iTunes to do this. And it's just gonna resync it. And once you have that, you're gonna have a completely factory setting iPod. So, we're just gonna configure it. We have So, and then we have that, okay? So you're just gonna click all the things you would usually do. I, as just like you're getting it. Um, I'll just do that later, actually. Um, and okay, this is the part we need to do. Don't set it up as a new iPod Touch. Um, don't restore from iTunes. Well, you can. But, yeah, if you have it saved into your computer on iPhone, on iTunes, you can do it that way as well. Um, but if you don't, which is the common case, you store from iCloud Backup. So then, okay, next. Oh, yeah, Wi Fi is required. Oops. Oops. I'll just do that real quick. Okay. Alright, so after we did that, we're going to click next. Restore from iCloud backup. Um, next. And then they're going to ask you for your Apple ID, which is your email. So I'm going to type that in and put the camera back on. Okay, so I got that, um, I got that typed in. Now we're just going to go to, um, if you want to read all that, you can. But, um... Yeah, you're just going to click Agree to the Terms and Conditions. So then we're just going to wait for this to load up. And then we're going to choose your backup. And then you can do an older backup. But um, I'm just going to do the most recent one. So, and then once you choose the backup, usually the most recent one, or if it's older if you deleted it, and then backed it up, you can do older backups. Like I said earlier, don't back it up. It's okay if you do, though, because you can do older backups than that and you can even go farther back so then you're just gonna click restore and it's gonna give you this screen here it's gonna it's like loading so it's such a long time it even doesn't even know what the estimated time is yet so I'll put the camera back on um, hold on and do the flash off the, once you're done, it's gonna should go into this. Um, get that little apple sign, and then you're gonna get a little loading symbol again. So on the computer, it'll just so it focus. It'll just have it like um, right there. That means it's just like as long as there's nothing in the top bar here, means it's not. It's I mean it's done. So just take that into consideration. So um, it's loading. It's loading. See that? There's definitely nothing there. And uh, we got it back. So. Okay, so that's everything. Um, it's got my wallpaper and yeah. Now it's got camera. Okay. They're all there, so um, including the one I deleted right there. And the photos are gonna come. They're just kind of slow on downloading, but. And especially, this was important for me that I needed 
my, what was it? Oh yeah, voice recording. I had a voice memo and I needed it and it was gone, so it recovers that as well. So, you know, it's just going to give you all your apps back, music back. And also, this works if you switch devices and need all your stuff on the other device. It works then, and it'll work if you, um, if you, uh, it'll also work if you have all your stuff downloaded onto your iTunes, but that's a lot easier, so. Um, yeah, don't you do it if you have a jailbroken device, but yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. That's just how you get all your stuff back, including when I deleted right there. Thanks, bye.